The purpose of this video is to show you how to use MLA and to make in-text citations, which can also be called parenthetical referencing. Although I prefer the term in-text citation, it's just more simple. The other name for this video is Why Not To Eat Yellow Snow. Firstly though, why do we need to cite stuff? I can think of three reasons. The first is to give credit to the sources of the information we use. The second is to reinforce our own opinions and thoughts. If it says Cyclopaedia Britannica after an opinion, people are more likely to believe it than I think. And thirdly, so we're not stealing ideas from other people. In this video, I will create an essay and then model how to add MLA citations to it. Before I can make an essay, I need a research question. Here is my silly essay topic. Write a research paper describing why not to eat yellow snow. Now we see quickly research paper and describing. This is asking for a descriptive report, not for my thoughts and opinions. The first thing I have to do is to research and find some sources of information. Once I have these, I need to create a works cited section. Now I would say to anyone, do not learn how to make MLA. Every year it changes. You learn it now, it's different next year, different the year after. Instead, learn how to use one of the good online programs out there, such as Noodle Tools or such as EasyBib, to do the hard work for you. There's no need to learn this. It changes every year. Now that I have all of my sources, I've done a lot of reading, I can now map out my report. And now, like for any good essay, I'm going to create an essay plan. We all need to do this if we want to do well. Obviously, I'll begin with an introduction. I'm going to finish with a conclusion. And I'm going to have the body of my essay in the middle. Not much of a plan so far. Well, my first paragraph is going to be all about why snow is yellow. My second paragraph is going to be all about why not to eat yellow snow. And my third paragraph is going to be all about what to do if you eat yellow snow. Now obviously your essays will be a lot more involved than this. This is a brief and silly example so we can then add in-text citations to it. And here goes my essay. This research paper will describe why not to eat yellow snow. There's a really bad introduction. Now for my first paragraph. Why is yellow snow yellow? Yellow snow is yellow because there were no toilets nearby. People needed to go. They did. You. In my second paragraph, now obviously your paragraphs will be a lot more involved than this. You should not eat yellow snow because it is often of human origin you and might make you sick and in the last paragraph if you eat yellow snow drink lots of water if you still feel ill seek medical help quickly most ski fields have yellow snow procedures in their medical facilities. And finally, my conclusion. In conclusion, you are better off to just avoid yellow snow altogether. Now there is my really bad essay. Again, the aim is just to have a quick essay here that we can then attach our in-text citations to, which is what we will do now. Now there's nothing researched in the introduction, so I don't need to cite that. Yellow snow is yellow because there are no toilets nearby. I read this in a book by Pink Zebra, so I will write zebra here. That backs that up. You should not eat yellow snow because of human origin. I read that in yellow snow. What to do if you eat it. So I will put yellow snow in as my source. And might make you sick. I read that in the book by Mr. Aardvark. 
Scrolling on through the essay. Oh, hold on. I read this in a source called Yellow Snow. Why not to eat it? So we'll put in Yellow Snow again. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that we've got two sources called Yellow Snow. Are these the same source? Yellow no, they're not. They're different. In-text citations are always the first one to two words from your work cited, so they are easy to find. In this case, we have two with the same first two words. We need to add a third word, so these are easily distinguishable. So this was yellow snow why, and this was yellow snow what. Now I could write what to do if you, but it breaks up the whole essay. The idea of in-text citations are to be as short as possible while allowing you to distinguish which source you refer to, keeping it short so it's easy to read. Most key fields have these procedure benefit facilities. I read that in the book by Zebra Pink again. So I'm going to put in Zebra. It does not matter that I use the same one twice because the whole idea is to accurately show what my sources are. Now, everything you read in my silly essay is backed up by a source. The last thing I need to do would be to paste in my Works Cited section. Now, if you have a look at the Works Cited, it starts with Aardvark and ends with Zebra, alphabetical order. Our in-text citations are always the first one to two words from this Works Cited section. If you have two citations starting the same, Add one word at a time till you can distinguish them easily. Now, if our work cited section had been like this, it would be really, really hard to distinguish each separate citation. So always take the bottom triangle, drag it in like this, and it separates out. The words out here are the beginning of each citation, and they are easy to find. Now, as soon as I look at my essay and find a citation, I can quickly go to my work cited, Yellow snow why? Nope, yellow snow what? I can locate it easily. And just for the record, don't eat yellow snow.